Okay, looks like I'm back to the drawing board with this. As you can see, the sucker was shaking pretty bad, and I'm wondering now if it's because I'm using plastic plastic arms and it's causing it to to vibrate. So what I'm going to do is modify it and make them metal, and see if that doesn't uh, stop the stop the All shaking. All right, here we go again. I just made a quick modification. I found some elbow. Some uh, L brackets, and I just added added the uh, clips to it. This time they're wide enough; I don't even have to use washers. And then uh, self tapped it back down to the support. So we're gonna see uh, what happens here. I wasn't expecting to be able to do it that quick, but I'm being able to add it right to the the next video here. So stay tuned. Here we go. We're gonna do. Uh, this is try it number three. Let's see how this uh, how this works out. So now I got steel I got steel arms on it rather than uh, the plastic ones, and hopefully uh, she don't shudder. All right, let's see how we uh, how we do here. We're gonna do it again. I don't have much battery left, but I'll probably get enough to put it in the air one more time. Yeah. Compass is calibrated. Time getting off the ground. Dang it, I Alright, let's get this thing in the air. It's one up, GPS is good. We'll see how we run.
right now. Good gust right there. I don't need it to have to compensate when it's coming out of his cradle. to oh. oh well I now know that I can't have anything hanging underneath under the drum. So that means which means I've got to go back to the drawing board and put it across across here and then uh, hang it upside down when I'm flying it. So, well, that ends that scenario. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave some comments if you'd like, and we'll catch you on the next Altitude.